Hey guys, it's me, Janie Tim, and today we're going to be talking about a very uncomfortable video, and that is Zico's Tough Cookie. Now, before I even started watching the video, I already heard so much criticism about it, so I was like, yep, I'm ready to look at this bullshit. And no one was lying to me. There was a lot going on in that video. Like, the first thing I see is, like, this biker gang, and they're actually children, and there's Don Mills, like, riding through the town with a shopping cart with his biker gang behind him and they're like 12 and then there was like Zico in like a tub filled with cookies and then there was two girls twerking behind him and then he had grills and then he had like the dreads and he was playing poker but I'm pretty sure he has a no poker and then Don Mills was rapping and he was saying his name at least like five times like, I get it you're Don Mills and then there was a girl eating a banana in a way that was very uncomfortable for me to watch and there was this crew right behind him and, and then they're just like what, what, what are we doing here what's going on what's going on here and Jay Park was there he was like yeah dude turn up yeah Jay how, mu how, how much am I getting paid for this again there's just a lot going on it's just completely a stereotypical gangster video now let's talk about the stuff that kind of kind of kind of makes me feel you know uncomfortable um the first thing we're gonna be talking about is the confederacy flag that was like passed on to his jacket somewhere and i know some people don't really know what the confederacy flag means because i know that in some countries they don't really educate you with american history and i don't blame them because like here in america we don't learn everything about other countries histories so let me just tell you what it means back in the civil war the southern states would wave around the confederacy flag to like uh, represent their lifestyle and one of the things that was bad about their lifestyle is that they wanted to have black slavery and even today there are people in the south who still wave around that flag and um, those are called the Ku Klux Klan aka the people who like to kill black people so yeah it's kind of it's kind of bad it's kind of bad so um and it's actually it's a funny because like there are some people who still have the audacity to say it's still nothing and I'm just like you little shit you're, 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 you're a strange. I don't know if, uh, if this was Zico's fault or if this was the stylist's fault, but I think someone in that whole entire company should know that that's confederacy flag. You're not, you're not, you're not supposed to wave it around. You're not supposed to keep it on your damn jacket. It's not a fashion dread. It's wrong. Did you literally just like Google hmm gangster flags and that was the first thing that came up? Now the latest I can definitely blame him for it because he's the one who wrote it. And there was a homophobic slur that was used and it was the F-A-G-G-O-T. Either way, it's wrong, and I'm tired of people saying that, oh, he just doesn't know English. Girl, he wrote it by himself. He should know what the fuck he's writing about. I understand Zico is trying to be like American hip hop rappers, but let me tell you, even here, if you say something insulting, you're still gonna get criticized for it. So I don't understand why you're trying to be up on their level. Their level ain't good, it ain't hip hop. You're not being hip hop. Not even being hip hop here. And of course, the twerking the twerking in this now listen don't get me wrong i think that a girl is allowed to twerk like honestly you can do it but twerking is like a skill okay some people can do the robot some people can do the robot some people can twerk some people can twerk and for example those girls they look really stiff and kind of hesitant about it like they, they were just like okay are we doing good okay all right all right and then they're not even they're not even looking behind because they're like they don't want to show you their faces because they're ashamed they're scared even i was scared for them i was like are they okay is, is everything okay? oh my gosh and i just wanted to say i know a lot and a lot a lot of people right now are sending him death threats and let me tell you it ain't going to solve anything so please refrain from doing that i actually heard a lot of fans are actually going to be writing a letter to the company explaining them um why it's bad to use these slurs and why it's bad to use the confederacy flag and you know just then they're gonna be explaining that and i think that's actually a very good idea and that's a better idea please 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 just just you don't you don't have to tell someone to kill themselves okay it's a it's that easy. So Zico, I just want to tell you, you know, you know, the song was catchy, but like, you just need to change the lyrics and the entire video. All right, guys, that's basically it. Uh, I'm just just so disappointed right now. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all soon. Peace.